Hey guys, it's Joshua back here again. Um, I just want to show you my latest sniper and my latest pistol. I'll show it to you guys in a second. Um, believe it or not, there's actually paper under this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have made crosses in it right here and here and on both on each side. Um, I put in a duct tape, um, the, um, trigger guard, I don't know what you guys want to call it, but, um, I put in iron sights made out of duct tape on it, if you can see that, which was extremely hard, it took me a while to shape them, it took me like, maybe an hour or two to shape them, um, I first found that it's the Glock 17, actually it feels pretty good i actually finally um got it in some water you don't need to but um i put it in some water because it was really sticky um yeah so that's that and i just finished making the like crappy sniper rifle there is out of duct tape paper which doesn't really make Let's see if i can get that in the screen it's um in my next tutorial i think i'm probably going to show you guys how to make a silencer for this sniper you guys can it's not in a video yet um i might i'll probably make a video of this sniper and i will see if i can make a scope tutorial too with crosshairs and everything um i made a big mess with this i had I even showed a friend. It's really crappy. It took me like five minutes to five and five minutes to make this, but like it's quick on and off done. And as you can tell, it was really quick because I didn't even try to box anything, not even on my sniper. It took maybe twenty minutes to make that sniper tops. Um, I cut that in. It's a really crappy handle, and I ran out of tape, fake tape, so I had to get on this really small crappy stuff like tape um i show also showed somebody that came over so we had company over how to make this which is an uzi for those of you who do not know it's actually kind of messed up because i forgot to, they had to leave while i was still showing them how um so it's not that good it's not boxed or anything yet um what you do pretty much is once you make four tubes, you cover it, then you stick it, you cover it, cover it, then you put a tube with a slant here. You don't have to put the slant. Um, you take four tubes, you take them, tape them together, then you cover it. Um, this was like real quick, ten second boxing for the whole thing. Five to ten seconds boxing. There's this outline around it. Um. Yeah, there's outlining around it. You don't have, you need to outline it or else you'll have these creases and it looks bad. The creases from these right in here. If you can see it. Right there. In there. See? Yeah, you'll have those creases and it'll mess up what your gun looks like. And, um, slides in there. It needs to be centered, too. Yeah, I don't even know how. that um you can cut this off if you want it doesn't have to be there it's actually an uzi if you didn't know my um actually i did get this on the handle it's really crappy it took me about maybe five minutes to make this um like this so it tapes on there oh um, you can cock it back if you want like um if you want to be able to cock it back and cut a hole in here. Um, sorry, camera's getting messed up. In here, so like you'll cut a hole from here to here if you want to cock it, so that you can hold it like this and then bring it back and then it'll hit your this your handle, whatever you want to call it. And um, if you guys want clip tutorials for the guns, 
just tell me. I'll show you how to make the clip. It's not that hard. Um, and then you can slide it back. That. Um, I do know how to make shootable guns. I don't like to because the only ones I know how to do are blow, and everybody hates the blow ones now. So. Yeah. Um, if you want to make a crossbow, actually, I messed up on it. I don't know why. I taped the ends, then you put a rubber band in here. You tape. Um, anything that can hold a rubber band right here, pull it back, you can stick, um, anything that you can get to fit in there, and you just pull it back, and then it'll shoot. It looks like a telephone pole, huh? Anyways, so, here's my sniper. Here's my latest pistol. What I mainly wanted to show you guys in this video. My pistol, I actually like this pistol because it's really comfortable, actually. And there's crosses and everything on it. I think um, in my next tutorial, I'm probably going to show you how this one's not shootable. It was cocked. I could cock it back, but I didn't make it. I didn't want to like that with the duct tape. I actually kind of look up this model online, like the actual gun model for it online, not YouTube. I went to a gun website, looked it up, a Glock 17. I made it rub or I put duct tape on it gray. Um, if you guys want, I can make a better tutorial on how to make the mutant claws. Um, just subscribe or don't subscribe. Leave it in the comments box. Do all that good stuff. Um, I gotta go. I gotta get back to school. So, peace out. See ya. Um, uh, see you next time on my next video, which will probably be um the Shrieken, also known as the Ninja Star. Um, another gun, not pistol, well, it might be a pistol, crossbow, any kind of firearm, and, um, not only that, but bullets to go, maybe the clip, but, yeah, so, see you guys.